freaking villagers in my freaking video, dude. Did you not see I'm recording the video? Anyways, yo, what's up, people? Today we're going to be talking about Fabric, a new mod loader. It's been pretty good. I used to use Forge, but I've been using uh, Fabric because I've been wanting to play on the 14, 1.14 version of Minecraft. So I've been enjoying Fabric very much. It's very new. There isn't as much mod as Forge, but to be honest, I've been enjoying it. And today I'm going to help you install it in your computer. So let's get ready. <clears throat> Now, everything that I'm showing you will be in the description and in the comment section. All links will be provided to you. This is what you're going to do. If you're using multi vanilla, click whichever you're going to be using. Uh, I don't know anything about server or any of these, uh, these ones. So I wouldn't suggest you touch these, but since I play on vanilla, I'm going to click that you press download installer, you save it. So once you downloaded it, you're going to click on it. You're going to make sure to open it. It's going to give you all this stuff. Ignore it. Just press OK. It will say that it's a malicious software, but it's legit. Everyone's using it. Um, you're going to go to client and you're not going to do anything. Everything's already going to be done for you. And then you just click install. Once you click install, it'll say done right here on the top and you could just exit it. After that, you're going to need to download two things, two mods for your uh, fabric because without these two you're not going to be able to play the fabric so you're going to get mod menu you're going to download the latest file then you're going to download the fabric api you're going to download the latest file you're going to save this and once you save it the mod menu and the fabric api you just downloaded you're going to download it and put it in your mod folder on your Minecraft. If you don't know how to get to this, you could either go run and then press percentage app data percentage and I'll open up and then you could click on the dot Minecraft, then go to your mods. If you don't have a mod folder, create a mod folder. And there you have it. There's a mod folder. You put those two that you just downloaded and it'll make the fabric work. Now you're asking, well, that's great, but we want to put some mods into the game. All right. So you go right here, you go to projects. You're going to be on the Minecraft curse forge. So you're going to go to projects, click on mods. And you're going to go to this little place that says fabric and you'll see a bunch of uh, mods that are supported by fabric. Now, keep in mind, not all mods on this website actually work. Uh, the just sleep mod does not work. It actually crashes the game. Another mod jump fence jumper that also pretty much crashes the game when I use it. So some mods do work and some mods don't. So you're going to have to do some trial and error. I will be uploading a lot of videos in the future about all the mods that do work and a review of the mod. So stay tuned for that in the future. But if you do decide to uh, download a mod, I'm going to help you how to download the right one. So an example, I have simple harvest on my game. And recently I told you to download the mod menu and the fabric API by clicking on this little button, download the latest file. Now, if you do that with this one, you're going to get Harvest 1.2. And this is probably, this is um, for the Forge, I believe. It's not for the Fabric. So what you want to do is you want to go to some of the mods. You want to make sure to click File. Some mods will tell you in the description that it's only for Fabric. Some mods are for Forge and Fabric, but they have different files, different jars for, you know, different loaders. Now you're going to come over here. And as you, you don't want to download this one, you want to download the ones that usually say fabric on them. If there's mods that run on forge and fabric, you want to go for the ones that actually say fabric. So that'll be, that'll pretty much give you a dead giveaway of which mod you can actually use. Cause, uh, I downloaded the latest file and the harvest did not work. And obviously this is not fabric. So you want to make sure when you're downloading mods, 
if it's not just fabric exclusive you're gonna have to look for the right file so keep that in mind now after you downloaded a mod that you wanted to play and you download the mod menu the fabric api and install the fabric loader let's open up minecraft so once you open up minecraft you're not gonna have to do anything because it's gonna be on the fabric loader right away all you have to do now is just press play now as for the loading speeds it can vary sometimes it loads really fast sometimes it takes a little bit of while it just depends on your computer and then depends on what else you're doing right now i'm currently editing this video as we speak so i do have vegas in the background and vegas does take some of the ram but this time it loaded pretty fast i wouldn't say it was slow i would say it was pretty quick so there we go and i kind of jinxed it didn't i <laughs> okay Once you get there, you're going to see the mods. It's going to say mods loaded. And as you can see, I got a ton of mods. Some mods you could edit like this one. You could edit in the menu. Some mods you will have to uh, config in the config folder on the Minecraft. Uh, I'll probably make a video about that differently. Some mods you could, you could edit and some mods you really can't. It, it varies in the, in the mod that they got. So once you get there, you just pretty much click single player and you make your world and you play. Every mod is going to work flawlessly as long as you get the correct one. Uh, some mods don't work, like I said previously, but it's okay. A majority of them do work, so go ahead and test them out. Um, I will be talking about some mods that I have in the future and future videos. So that's about it. That's pretty much it. If you want, stick around and I'll show you some of the mods that I have. But other than that, you're pretty much done. The video is over for you if that's all, if you wanted to just know how to install Fabric. But if you want to know some of the mods that I got, feel free to stay and watch to the end of the video. Okay, so you guys want to see some mods? Here are some mods that I have. I have a mod that you can make armor from emerald obsidian uh lapis and quartz and stuff it's a pretty cool mod i enjoy it um, we have this uh tool right here this is a paxel so a paxel can dig mine and pretty much chop wood it's three tools in one it's a multi-tool it's pretty great i have this gold chest this gold chest holds more than the regular chest here's an example as you can see, I have more slots than I would in a high, call it a, look at that. That disappeared, dude. Look at that, that disappeared. Okay, so it looks like we have around nine rows. So that's pretty neat. We got nine rows. Keep in mind that uh, this whole section right here is typically two regular chests. And this one has at least three more rows than two chests combined. And this is pretty cool for people that like to hold a lot of items. Uh, I like this one a lot. Here is a furnace. I'm not sure, I haven't tested this out yet. I haven't made a actual diamond furnace. I'm not sure if this is cosmetic or it actually cooks much faster. I'll probably test out in a video because I will be reviewing and talking about different mods. Here's my Amistis. I'm not even sure if I can say it right, ho. I, that's why I used to uh, farm this stuff. Now, pretty much that farming, harvesting that I showed you earlier, here's what it does. You just press right click and you harvest the food and you don't even have to plant. You don't even have to plant seeds again. It's very useful for people who like farming. If you ever farmed in Vanilla without mods, you would know that once you harvest something, uh, you have to pretty much reseed it again and it's a big pain if you have more than a hundred uh more than a hundred stuff planted so this is very convenient as for the diamond paxel like i said it's a multi-tool it could it could do everything so it's pretty nice and then we got the hammers the hammers i like them they're pretty cool so hammers break three by three so one two three one two three 
if you hit in the middle it'll break the whole section and it's pretty cool for people who are into mining i also do got easy excavation easy excavation is uh pretty much an overpowered mining ex excavation and stuff here's an example i chopped the whole tree so i don't have to go dig one by one the whole tree was chopped and uh i'll chop this side too also i do have that mod the the leaves wither much faster so i have that as well it's it's a pretty good mod i, I like i like all the mods i've been downloading they're pretty great this is just an example of playing uh mods on the fabric fabric is very new now keep in mind that there isn't that many mods compared to forge but i feel since it's very new uh, a lot of people are going to be pretty much adding stuff in the future right now i have at least 40 mods 40 mods loaded on my uh on my game and i've been having a lot of fun with it and we do have people who make mods for forge that have had made mods on fabric so i think fabric is a bit much better than forge in my opinion because i feel it just loads much faster and you don't have to make like a gazillion different um profiles that's what the thing that i kind of don't like about forge because a lot of times you got to play on forge 13 or forge 12 to play specific mods and fabric I f there's people that have been making dedicated mods to the fabric loader so that's been very nice as well so yeah that's just my you know demonstration how to download fabric hopefully you guys decide to uh download this and add some mods and have your minecraft a little bit more exciting and more fun because i've had more fun than ever after installing fabric i've had just so much fun especially with the 1.14 update i just had an incredible good time and with the mods that has that has made 1.14 even better than i could imagine anyways i hope you guys enjoyed this video thanks for watching and i'm out and take care